Hi dear friends, uh, welcome to Akshara Dare. I am Devraj. I hope you guys uh, had voted everyone in your constituencies. So we have waiting waiting for the result. Karnataka Assembly. Karnataka is because Karnataka Assembly elections results we are waiting. So let me see what happens and uh, I hope uh, you guys have voted and you guys are the same uh, you guys working towards to uh, improve our communication. Let me start reading this paper, today news paper, uh, let me see and uh, study news paper reading uh, video was not up to updated due to the no time mm, to make the video. Let me uh, prepare the video today and uh, update the 25th video for communication. So let me start uh, today's news people. Yes guys, today is 11th. Uh, let me start today's news people and uh, figure out what are the, uh, what is news in uh, today's front page. This is the Bangalore edition page. Uh, for Thursday, why it is 12 piece? I don't know. Anyway, let me go to the next page. Plutus size, uh, not very important. Yes, the Hindu patient kills house surgeon. Protesters attack Pakistan PM's house. It is a forward looking document, but it, it needs a suitable legislation to back it. 28 people, 20,000, 28,000 people duped of 100, 100 crore police. But, uh, as well, be aware about the, uh, the cyber frauds and do not share your OTP or any details to with anyone. So I have pension APFO officials told to work out dues of subscribers. Karnataka records 72.68% turnout in assembly polls. After a fierce campaign by BJP, Congress and JDS, polling percentage crosses the 2018 figure. Bangalore records a low turnout of 54.51%, counting of votes for 224th member house on May 13th. Bidden to host a state dinner for Modi on June 22. SC set to rule on Sena versus Sena battle today. Government announces scheme to regulate cab aggregators, delivery service providers. Code 6 status report on case against WFI chief by Friday. Hindu college fest students suspended for protest fraud. BJP questions CM silence in hospital assault and incident. DP mission proceedings stayed against Manoj Tiwari. The man who swore in to live in an ordinary house is now living in a 171 crore bungalow. The senior Congress leader says the confusion within the party about supporting AP started in 2014 and still persists today, calls AP BJP's B team. Couple at similar on stray dog millions. Organizers blame so called animal lovers. Infrastructure was not a prioritized PM. India not built in a day, says Gallup. Two tigers seen roaming in Uttarakhand village. Tribal body plans to contest Chhattisgarh assembly election. Chitha death administrative, administrative mod. Heat wave in Gujarat, orange alert issue till May 12th. Price fixed by, by Center for Suzuki, not fair at all, says Madras High Court. DU hostel students sends a notice to Rahul Han's sudden visit. Conduct behind dignity. Nidish Kumar meets Jakan CM for opposition unity talks. SRIT India releases details of AI camera project in Kerala. LOC against Indian students student in QK for threat mail to Salman. 
rewriting history media separation communal conflict char reason behind reasons bjp must be opposed jointly says vihar cm hemant sorin says more meetings will be held before reaching a consensus over 3000 lampy skin disease cases in uttarakhand how surgeon stabbed to death in kerala the accused is a school teacher who was brought to the hospital by the police after being injured in a brawl after he stabbed a home guard and an isi staff member rushed to a room and shut the door but the house surgeon could not flee doctors boycott services a stage protest across the state as he ordered his comes to take steps to prevent death of patients only three votes pulled fall in a simaga village what is this only three people uh, voted in ka kanas kanasina katte village of karnataka shivamogga district as resident wanted to boycott the elections due to the lack of basic amenities including roads and mobile connectivity the villagers had put up a banner asking candidates and their supporters not to enter the village for campaigning the hindu had carried their report on the demands of the residents the people actually tried to convince the residents to change their minds however the villagers refused to budge similarly residents of um, bachi hali in uh, hanabalu gram panchayat and dona hali in devala da kere gram panchayat of sakleshpur taluk boycotted election due to bad roads and problems in the supply of drinking water nobody turned up for polling until a senior officer reached the villages and convinced the residents to vote by noon voting is resumed in these villages so kind of boycotting the uh, election uh, uh, there is no any facilities give there is no facilities given by the government are like politicians as it was pronounced verdict on a center delhi tazal today constitution bet bench had asked the reporting question to the union government about the point of having an elected government of if the administration was the back 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 the hard call for the center delhi was a center the question is who has control over the bureaucrats Tuskar Arikompam camping at Meghmalaya in Tamil Nadu for a week. Kolkata HCD acts and AI probe into Darivita High School firing of 2018. A ground view of the Indian space policy 2023. Let me read today news. Uh, today I have to read page which is written by Rakesh Sud. <laughs> in april 20 and this year the indian space research organization released the indian space policy 2023 that had been in the works for some years the documents has been received positively by industry however it needs to be followed up with suitable legislation accompanied by clear rules and regulations just preceding this this writer wrote the article avoiding leap top into the second space age april 10 2023 which said that india's modest entry into the first space age followed by its many gains and should be used to help the country tap the vast potential in the second space age until the year 1990s india's space industry and space economy were defined by history isro private sector involvement was limited to building the isro designs and specifications the second space age began with the licensing of private tv channels the explosive growth of the internet mobile telephony and the emergence of the smartphone today while isro budget is approximately 1.6 billion india's space economy is over 9.6 billion broadband ott and 5g promise a double digit annual growth in satellite based services it is estimated with that uh, with an enabling environment the indian space industry could grow to 60 billion by 2030 the 
directly creating more than 2 lakh jobs. Yet, it is the enabling policy environment that has provided elusive. The first satellite communication policy was introduced in 1997 with guidelines for foreign direct investment FDI in the satellite industry that were for the liberalized but never generated much enthusiasm. Today, more than half the transport transport does a beaming TV signals into Indian homes are hosted on foreign satellites, resulting in an annual outflow outflow of over half a billion dollars. A remote sensing data policy was introduced in 2001, which was amended in 2011. In 2016, it was replaced by a national geospatial policy that has been further liberalized in 2022. Yet, Indian users, including the security and defense agencies, spend nearly a billion dollar annual dollars annually to procure health observation data and imaginary imagery from foreign resources. To streamline, streamline, streamline matters, a drop speed activities bill was brought out in 2017, which went through a long consultative process. It lapsed in 2019 with the outgoing Lok Sabha. The government was expected to introduce a new bill by 2021, but it appears to have contented itself with the new policy statement. What is different? To be fair, the Indian Space Policy 2023 is qualitatively different from previous efforts. It is a short second page of the document, which includes three pages devoted to determinations and abbreviations. The vision is to enable, encourage, and develop a flourishing commercial presence in space that says an acceptance that the private sector is a critical stakeholder in the entire value chain of the Swiss economy. It makes five key points. It defines its role in India's socio-economic development and security. Production of environment and lives, pursuing peaceful exploration of outer space, stimulation of public awareness and scientific quest. First, this is the only reference to security in the document, making it clear that the focus is on civilian and peaceful applications, considering the space, considering that space-based intelligence, reconnaissance, surveillance, communication, positioning, and navigation gaps capabilities are increasingly seen as mission critical by the defense services that Indian conducted they have conducted a successful ASAT anti-satellite direct ascent test in March 2019 and in the same year set up the Defense Space Agency and the Defense Space Research Organization. It is reasonable to infer that a defense oriented space security policy document will be a separate document. The United States puts out a Swiss policy under the aegis of the White House Office of Space, Science and Technology Policy, National Aeronautics and Space Administration, and the Departments of Commerce and Transportation. While the Department of Defense and the Director of National Intelligence are responsible for the space security strategy. Second, the policy lays out a strategy and then spells out the roles of the Department of Space. It's through the Indian National Space Promotion and Authorization Center set up. In 2020, and the new uh, the India Limited a Public Sector Unit set up in 2019 under the Department of Space as the commercial arm of CISRO to replace the now defunct antics. Third, it states that ISRO will transition out of the existing practice of being present in the manufacturing of operational space systems. Year after mature systems shall be transferred to industries for commercial exportation. ISRO shall focus on R&D in advanced technology, proving newer systems and realization of space objects for meeting national prerogatives. Another of ISRO's uh, tasks in the uh, new policy is to share technologies, products, processes and uh, best practices with NGEs, non-government entities and for our uh, government companies. This implies that ISRO will now use its uh, biggest asset. It's qualified and talented demand to concentrate on cutting edge research and development and long term projects such as Chandrayaan and Gaganyan. As ISRO's commercial term, SNSIR will become the entrepreneur for interacting with the industry, undertake commercial negotiations, and provide hand holding support to ensure smooth and efficient transfer of technologies. Private sector role for the NGEs, this includes the private sector, are allowed. 
to undertake hand-to-hand -hand activities in the space sector through establishments and operations of operation of space objects, ground-based assets and related services such as communication, remote sensing, navigation, etc. Satellites could be self-owned, procured, or leased. Communication services could be over India or outside, and remote sensing data could be disseminated disseminated in India or abroad. NGEs, NGEs can be, can design and operate launch vehicles for space transportation and establish their own infrastructure. NGEs can now make filings with the, the International Telecommunication Union and engage in commercial recovery of asteroid resources. In short, the entire gamut of space activities is now open to that private sector. Security agencies can task NGEs for procuring tailor-made solutions to address specific requirements. The activities of the NGEs will be in keeping with the guidelines and regulations regulation to be issued by in space. It is expected to act as the single window agency for authorizing space activities by government entities and NGEs in keeping with safety, security, international obligations and overall national interest. Finally, in space is expected to create a stable and predictable regulatory framework that will ensure a level playing field for the NGEs. It will act as a promoter by setting up industry, setting up industry clusters and as a regulator, issue guidelines on liability issues. Thus, the gaps. The policy sets out an ambitious role for in space but provides no time frame for the necessary steps ahead. Neither is there an indicative timeline for issues transitioning out of its current practices, nor is there a schedule for NCVC to create the regulatory framework. The policy framework says will need clear rules and regulations pertaining to FIPD and licensing. Government procurement to sustain the new space startups, liability in case of violations and an appellate framework for dispute settlement. A regulatory body needs a legislative authority. The Reserve Bank of India was set up by the 1934 RBI Act, the Securities and Exchange Board of India by the 1992 SEBI Act, and the Telecom Regulatory Authority of India by the 1997 TRAI Act. In space, is expected to authorize the space authorities for all, both government and non-government entities. Currently, its uh, position is ambiguous as its uh, functions and under uh, the purview of the Department of Space. The Secretary of Space is also Chairman of ISRO. The government entity is to be regulated by NSPACE. The Space Policy 2023 is a forward-looking document reflecting good intentions and a vision, but it is not enough. What is urgently needed is a time frame to provide the necessary legal framework to translate this vision into reality to successfully launch India into the second space age. This is about the two rules and regulations. Uh, guys, uh, kindly read the new, same news for twice if you didn't understand. It would be very, uh, then you easily understand. Let me go to the next uh, editorial page, which is the fallout of Putin helping make NATO regret again. Written by Sakti Prasad Asri Chandan is a Russian professor, Center for European Studies, School of International Studies, Jawaharlal Nehru. The North Atlantic Treaty Organization has almost doubled its borders with Russia with the addition of Finland as its 31st member in April 2023. Sweden will become a member eventually once the ratification process gets over, which will swell. NATO territorial expanse like never before and also make the Baltic Sea and NATO lake. The action of Finland was the fastest on record. For long, Nordic countries Finland and Sweden had refused to take sides, maintaining military non-alignment and being focused more on their internal socio-economic development, thus making them models of modern well-paid states. Their relations with Russia were moderate at best. If not deep enough, but the Russian invasion of Ukraine changed the way they had vivid their Eastern and Iowa bond, the predictability of its leader. Vladimir Putin pursued Mr. Putin's actions have brought certain changes in the regional security dynamics of Europe. Russian actions, European unity, past engaging Russia has never been so easy for the European Union, mostly because of differences among 
member states. Some European countries such as uh, Germany and France had, had a soft corner of Russia for Russia. Unlike some Baltic states such as Estonia, Latvia and Lithuania, Lithuania which have been in favor of tra trading, a, trading a cautious path. Russia's invasion of Ukraine has not only brought back what the European realm, realm uh, in the post-Second World War era, but it is also a blow to the EU's image as an actor, having failed to hurt the war in its neighborhood. An interesting outcome in this adverse situation is that Russia's actions have now uh, united European countries more than ever before. Second, Mr. Putin might not have expected that Finland and Sweden would give up their neutrality, neutrality so, so soon. Their memberships will also mean more expenditure militarily and restructuring apart from a stationing of NATO forces under the new command structure. As a response, Russia will also build its military presence in the adjoining northern areas and the Kaliningrad exclave. Bordering Finland, these northern areas, starting from St. Petersburg to Murmansk, come under the Russian core region, which is strategically and economically important for Russia. Having NATO as its Finnish door will further fuel Russian exit. Spotlight on the Arctic. Third, apart from these immediate border areas, another region where Nordic countries are for the matter NATO may face a stand-up with Russia as the Arctic region, which has received the little attention being too hostile and environment to merit any attention. But due to climate change and the prospects of ornishing and untapped oil, gas and mineral resources as, it's, as it is receiving wide attention, creating unexpected and complex challenges. Apart from the United States, Canada and Russia, the Nordic countries such as Norway, Denmark, Iceland, Sweden and Finland are members of the Arctic Council and have a direct stake in Arctic affairs. There have been localized confrontations between Russia and other actors here. NATO membership for the Nordic countries has brought a new geostrategic dimension to the Arctic's future. For Russia, cohabitation rather than confrontation with NATO was an option, but its military action has changed everything. By invading Ukraine, Mr. Putin wanted to stop NATO from expanding its base. On the contrary, it has triggered a NATO expansion instead. To a larger base in the Nordic. Nordic landscape and creating more frontiers. There is more justification uh, for NATO's ex existence now. Many countries now this now see their secure future in NATO's Article 5. Mr. Putin has in fact made NATO great again. Implications for India. In recent years, India has had limited engagements, engagement with NATO, mostly a political dialogues. India has maintained a strategic silence on NATO's recent expansion, but it needs to closely watch for scenarios that could emerge. First, Russia has few uh, friends left in the current situation, but in India as one of them is unlikely to fail for Moscow's in maintaining Moscow in maintaining the balance of power to counter NATO. She, China has maintained a strong stance against NATO existence and outreach towards the Indo-Pacific. Russia may count on China for support, bringing the two countries closer strategically and militarily, which may not be in India's interest. Second, in recent years, the Nordic region has caught the frequency of India's strategic radar. Prime Minister Narendra Modi visited Copenhagen to participate in the second India Nordic summit in May 2022 and underlined India's deep interest in co cooperation. This region now coming under a NATO umbrella will complicate India's strategic choices. Third, India's observer status in the Arctic Council and pursues an Arctic policy to promote multi-level cooperation. Finland NATO membership with Sweden joining soon, along with China's claim as a near Arctic state and its partnership with Russia in this region, may lead to the Arctic's militarization, thereby affecting the interests of all actors, including India. India's global actor role will be tested in new view of the new European Security Architecture, architecture led by NATO and contested by Russia. 
this is about the uh, international nato the national treaty organization national north atlantic treaty organization which was related to international issues let me go to the next page uh, pokhran second a moment of propound epimo epi pomi no answers even months after atrocity the perilous lives of indian workers why it is given in the middle of the page okay now issues the maternal deaths are still boils in iron and neonatal deaths in india and the number of hostel witnesses in uh, male gown blast case the migrant encounters at the us mexico border in 2020 the number of monthly active users in on tiktok in the us new security assistance package by the us for ukraine the troubles of the of of india's aviation industry why what does a uh, gopas distress care call mean for the aviation sector why was the major section of gopa go fast first aircraft grounded since last year why does do airlines struggle to survive what contributes to the high operating cost what are the policy and regulation regulatory factors affecting the industry so this is about the aviation industry i know you are in leash a pricing up one 1957 and me that's a role in the first war for india's independence india us to strengthen g20 cooperation during may the more revisit karnataka records 72.6 said turn out in four p am to unveil plan for museum in central secretary read next week the plan will be made public using me watch you walk through as at the museum expo on may 18th rpf cracks down on peak ticket sales arrest middleman i would have been equally angry alex elis on india's london museum attack santini ketan may be hard to word heritage list if you have officers told fixed dues of subscribers are always to proceed with closer up paint printing uh, processes despite opposition cyber crime racket in no dupe at 28000 people up and it grew haryana police dear you official held for spying as a link to rss by elections held to one local sabha for assembly seats Sindhya government is fate fate to be decided today as SC set to rule Han Sena or Sri Sena battle. DP mission complaint filed against TN BJP chief. Rajasthan has opposed legal status for same sex union. Six other states brought short debates. EPS new new calls call not to treat Rabindranath as AI ADMK MP. The idea of Madhya cannot be pleaded. Madhya. ultimate street tells i t not to reopen application window for j w advanced student death could see no proof of caste resident foreign medical graduates can enter in any state state medical accounts cannot deny allotments on the basis of domicile nearly 2.5 lakh candidates qualified by jw after the jw man and 1.9 lakh for up them how registered for the examination study on sludge finds high potential for use as fertilizer after treatment icmr conducts trial run of blood bag delivery by drone swantra accounts consoles king pulan changes uh, Kalanin grad name is in a move against uh, Russification. Hong Kong bans foreign lies from national security cases. Russia's law host landmark Turkey Syria approachment re approachment talks. Iran hangs seven more Russian persons in execution spree. Riots group. Iran sent to eight day remand PM's house attacked as violence spread. still palestinian militant street fire despite truce clan pakistan al wajhu ali china remain silent on imran's arrest achina objects india's bid to blacklist senior jem leader at the un nclt admits go first insolvency plea allows a moratorium on leases
three pair data spores bit han into to end of fed rate tax mg motor to invest 5000 crore in india jsw in profiles files papers for 22800 crore G220 panel will help boost MDBS capital. Cisco to manufacture gear in Tamil Nadu. Honors C1 in Madrid. Hall to play for in Manchester. Boria, Asamuddin, Handa, Nishant, and shoe medals with superb displays. Super Kings march ahead with a clinical win. KK Handa find themselves in a must win situation. Biggest challenge is a consistency. Chirag. Mexico's five time football WC waiter Carbajal passes away. Former IAF Vice President Khalil passes away. Idam climbs uh, maiden WC medal. Hasi Skipur Cummins reveals struggle due to burnout. PSG shows early interest in hiring. Uh, Marino as its manager. Yes, guys, there is a last page, a last uh, page uh, in this board, uh, in the in, in this paper. So I hope uh, you guys enjoyed the reading, uh, reading enjoyed the reading this paper. And after I I think uh, you guys are following the same tips. Uh, that is uh, forty to two. At least read the newspaper two hours. So you will get to know what is the uh, communication is about and you will really uh, learn uh, the communication in the 30 days this is the 25th video i am going to update i hope you guys are enjoying reading a newspaper each and every day and also making that simple tips what have uh, revealed in the previous videos so uh, please subscribe to my channel and like and comment if you guys have any comments leave the comment in the comment box so that i can, that I can help you to resolve your doubts in uh, related to communication health and education and uh, see you in the upcoming videos have a great day bye bye take care